In order to prepare a bechamel sauce, we need to scold the milk. Scalding the milk means bringing it up to temperature to about 98 degrees. Prior to that, we need to prepare an onion flute. The onion flute requires a bay leaf and two pieces of cloves which you stud it onto the onion flute. Make sure you keep the head intact so that the onion does not disintegrate on you. Once you place it into the milk, you bring it up to temperature and the way to judge it is to look at the edges of the pan to see that you have some small little bubbles arising from the bottom of the pan. Once you reach this temperature, you can turn off the milk and let it cool down. In order to prepare the roux, we need to melt a butter in a stainless steel pot. Once the butter has been melted, we're going to add all the flour to the melted butter. Using a wooden spoon, we want to combine the flour and the butter. We want to cook this roux over a low flame until all the raw flavor from the flour has disappeared. Uh, roughly around five to seven minutes. Once the roux has been prepared, we're going to place the pot on the side and let it cool down. Everything about combining a liquid with a roux has got to do with cross temperatures. Either the milk has to be hot and the roux has to be cold, or the roux has to be hot and the milk has to be cold. Once the milk has cooled down, we need to take off the onion clouté and discard it. We're going to add the hot milk into the cold roux. In order to do that, we're going to use a whisk so that there are no lumps created. Because of the temperature of the milk, the roux should automatically displace evenly in the liquid. Once it is displaced, we can return it back to the flame, change our utensil to a wooden spoon, and continue to cook it till it is nice and thick and forms a sauce consistency. In order to check the consistency of the sauce, the sauce needs to coat the back of a wooden spoon.